my dear Countess, delighted to see you. How good of you to come. How do, Colonel? Oh, isn't it? Take my chair. Thanks. Mr. Meek! Mr. Meek! My new things from Paris have arrived at last. I wonder would you be so very sweet as to take them to my bungalow somehow. Of course, I will pay anything necessary. And could you, could you get a letter of credit cashed for me? I better have uh, 300 pounds to get in with. <laughs> How many boxes, Countess? Oh, six, I'm afraid. Will it be a lot of trouble? It will involve a camel. <laughs> Strings of camels, if necessary. Expenses, no object. And a letter of credit. Uh, sorry, Countess. I have only 200 on me. You shall have the other 100 tomorrow. You are never at a loss. Thanks. So good of you. <laughs> Dismiss! <laughs> Countess, that was very naughty of you. What have I done? In camp. We must never forget discipline. We keep it in the background, but it is always there and always necessary. That man is a private soldier. Any sort of social relation, any hint of familiarity with him is impossible for you. Oh, but surely I may treat him as a human being? Most certainly not. <laughs> this is you? Oh, there you go. Hmm. Oh, I'm so sorry, but if I ask anyone else? They simply look helpless and say, you are better, see me about it. <laughs> no doubt. They put everything on the poor fellow because it's not quite all there. <laughs> Is it understood that in future you come to me and not to me? I will indeed, Colonel. I am so sorry and I thoroughly understand. I am scolded and forgiven, aren't I? <laughs> Admonished, we call it. But of course, I have no right to scold you. It is not your fault. It is I who should ask your forgiveness. <laughs> oh, granted. <laughs>